series part two of my top 26 slash slash pictures. Number 11, we have the Wind Catcher Giants at Six Flags Over Texas. This is probably one of the most famous farms to come to the round. It's the day and only when we first get into Six Flags Over Texas, it's June. You can see it. It's huge. Um, it's very cool, very cool. It doesn't have any inversions though, so it's all very unique. Um, it's usually with these kinds of rides, you see inversions, but it's not. That's really interesting, and I really like it. It's awesome! At number 10, we have Will the Raging Bull at Six Flags for America. So this is a very cool, uh, hot type of coaster. I really enjoy it a lot. Um, it's very cool, very interesting, and amazing. And all these rides are interesting. I like this kind of so, Um, I really like it though. Very much enjoy this ride. Um, I like all the other ones, but this one is it's, 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 it's different. At number nine is the Goliath, and also the Charge for America. So this ride is, there are no words to describe this ride. It's just totally insane. It's totally unique. It, and this is the definition of a unique RMP. Like, the dual G rolls like there's no fucking tomorrow. So, it's so awesome. When you see it, you just see this monstrous wooden fucking coaster. Yeah, that's right, the thing goes 90% wood and 10% steel. Yeah. So, right now, Brandish. At number 8, we have Medusa at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. So this, as I'm going to say, as I've said a little more other times, I've made videos like this. I think this is the best damn forest coaster in the world. And it kind of really is. It just really it blows your mind away when you're right because you don't expect this much from a damn forest coaster. And it's just so it's unique, it's so awesome, it's so cool. And it, also, it's got the sea super roll, which just adds to it as being the unique part. So, there's no other damn forest coaster has it. It's really awesome. At number seven, we have the Joker. The most recent ride here at Discovery Kingdom. So this ride is so fucking awesome! I love this ride so much! It's so awesome! It's just so fucking cool! It, goes, it has the first, um, the first covert co uh, coaster to ever feature, um, where it goes into an inversion and then straight into an overhead time. And that's awesome! I love the overhead charge. It's got 15 airtime hills. It's just so cool! Awesome. Love this new addition to Discovery Kingdom. They made a great decision to build out World War II. World was cool, but they just pushed and fixed foot. Number six is the Wicked Cyclone at Six Flags New England. Almost like the name of it. What the fuck is it? It's my video! I'm sorry. I'm just getting upset with this. I'm going to have to destroy all ads in the day. But anyway, not today. So this ride is pretty cool. Oh my god. Really funny. Can I just talk? This ride is awesome. It's got some fucking great airtime hills. I don't, know, I don't know why I really put this ahead of Joker. Um, to be personal, but mostly you know, the park in New England is kind of dope. Mm -hmm. Then, um, then Discovery Kingdom, but Discovery Kingdom is still pretty awesome. But Joker this ride's flat. I'm just putting it ahead. Mostly not to piss off anybody else. I really like it. So, yeah. I'm doing this for you guys, okay? Crap, what did I do? No! No lag, why? No, my computer better be a douchebag and crash. Yes, I did get permission for all. Oh. Mm. Get permission for all these videos. Number five is Superman at Six Flags New England. So, this used to be Bizarro actually, but they changed it recently. Superman now, but. It's all the same as Bizarro, same tracks, same everything. It's just, I love the ride so much. It's so cool. It's got airtime. It's got theming. It's got everything! Oh, and my, my video didn't get interrupted by ads. Yay! I'm happy now. I like this, also like the theming on this ride. They took out the fire though, which is kind of sad. I like the fire on Bizarro. But, you know what? It's still awesome. At number four, we have X2 
two with six times magic marker. So this ride is awesome. It really is amazing. It's an amazing roller coaster ride. I love the flipping. I love the inversion shot. I like the fire. Everything about this ride is awesome. It's great. I love it. It's amazing. Number three, we have Twisted Colossus at Six Flags Magic Master. I love and adore this ride! This ride is awesome. I love the high fives, I love the airtime, I love the loops. I'm just going to get into a love craze about this ride because I love this ride so much. It's so awesome! It's so great to show my excitement about this ride. It's so cool! New race! Better need to calm myself down. Number two, we have Nitro at Six Flags Great Adventure. So, this is why it's just too cool. Okay. Mostly, I like the part where it bends in on the drop with the hypercoasters. There's only a few more other hypercoasters that do that. And this ride is just so cool. I like everything about this ride. I kind of like the music. I don't care about the music. I don't know. Right, so cool. Um, but this is my number one, and you probably already know what it is. But I'm just gonna, I don't really give two crabs about what you think. If you want to stay and watch the video, great. If you want to leave, then go right ahead. I don't want to give a crap. Hmm, what so what could be? Yeah. No, I can't. Okay, I'm just gonna just give it a bad thing. It's El Toro. Okay, it's El Toro. Yep, number one is the Almighty El Freaking Toro. That's its first good adventure. This ride is just so so much fun. I love the airtime. I love the drop. I love the smoothness from a wooden roller coaster. A wooden roller coaster. Those are one of the tallest ones in the world. It just blows my mind. It's made of wood. How did they do this? Anyway. It's so cool. Alright, thanks all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed that video. And I will see you all next time. Peace out.